I'm on the west coast of Scotland and I'm here looking in the rock pools at some of the animals that live there. We've got some beautiful gastropods, got some gorgeous little fish and some fantastic crustaceans as well. So let's go and explore. To give you an idea of where we are, here is a view out to sea from our rock pools. The land in the distance is the Isle of Skye and the jagged mountains are the coolant. Rock pools are the pools of water left behind in the hollows and crevices of rocky shores when the tide goes out. They form their own miniature ecosystems, complete with algae, herbivores and carnivores. But even with such a wide range of creatures setting up home in rock pools, they can be harsh places to live. Rock pool inhabitants have to cope with a rapidly changing environment as the sun heats the water, making it progressively saltier, and then the tide comes in to replenish it once more. Let's have a look at some of the inhabitants of these rock pools in Scotland. One thing you can notice immediately is the range of different types of seaweed living in a rock pool. Some are feathery and branched, some have long filaments, some have gas bladders that can go pop, and some are encrusting, covering the surfaces of the rocks themselves. Seaweeds are a type of macroalgae. Unlike the plants you might be familiar with on land, seaweeds don't have a system of vessels inside for transporting nutrients and water around. They also don't have roots for getting nutrients out of soil. Instead, each cell has to get its own nutrients from the water around it, and what might look like roots holding a seaweed to a rock are doing only that, helping it stick to a rock. But like plants, seaweeds photosynthesize, using energy from the sun to convert water and carbon dioxide into sugars. At first glance, it may look as though the olive green splodges in the centre of the picture here are more examples of seaweeds. But take a closer look. And you can see those are moving tentacles, not fronds of macroalgae. These are sea anemones, a group of animals related to corals and jellyfish. Like jellyfish, sea anemones can sting. The tentacles here are being used to capture food and bring it to the mouth in the centre of the animal. Go to the beach and you've probably spent some time picking up seashells. These shells more than likely belonged to a mollusk. In our rock pool, we have a lot of empty shells, but we can also see a number of different types of mollusk shell with the animals still inside. Here at the bottom left of the picture, you can see a couple of mussels with their beautiful purple shells gaping slightly so they can feed. How many limpets and periwinkles can you spot? These are two different types of marine gastropod or sea snail. Limpets are cone shaped and famed for being able to stick fast to rocks. This helps to protect the animal inside from drying out when the tide goes out and they're exposed to the air. Periwinkles have a pointed coiled shell. They have a flat structure called an operculum that forms a seal inside the opening of the shell when the animal's body is pulled inside. Periwinkles are grazers, feeding on seaweeds and detritus. Watch the striped shell on the rock at the bottom left quarter of this picture. Can you see it moving? This is a top shell and it has a lovely conical shape. It is another grazer feeding on seaweed and algae on rocks. There are several types of top shell. This is a flat or purple top shell with a pretty pattern of lavender stripes. Not all mollusk shells are quite what they seem. Watch the movement in the middle of this picture carefully. It is definitely the shell of some sort of sea snail, but it's moving at quite a speed. And those are jointed legs coming out of the opening. This shell no longer contains a mollusk, but a hermit crab. Only the front part of a hermit crab has its own hard armour and it uses empty mollusk shells to protect its softer parts behind. A shell needs to be big enough for the crab to pull itself inside when in danger, leaving only its big right claw to close and defend the opening. 
Hermit crabs may be some of the best known rock pool crustaceans, but they are certainly not the only ones. Now this one can take a little bit of patience to spot, as its body is largely transparent, making it difficult to see. Have you spotted it yet? It's a prawn. Look carefully and you can see it beating the little flaps under the abdomen to help it to swim forwards. Now you have your eye in, see if you can spot the prawns in these snippets of film. Prawns are not the only animals to swim and dart about in rock pools. Not dissimilar in size and colouring are some of the small rock pool fish. Did you spot that one going to hide in an empty limpet shell? How about this darker individual exploring the nooks and crannies between the pebbles on the rock pool floor? check out this camouflage. Can you spot the fish in this picture? There, it moved. There are a number of small fish species that look quite similar that can be found on rocky shores. This one looks to be a goby with its two dorsal fins. Rock gobies are common in rock pools, feeding on smaller crustaceans, worms and other animals. Now back to our crustaceans. Keep your eyes peeled as this clip shows more than one of the prawns we've already seen. There it goes, scuttling sideways across the bottom of the pool. It's a shore crab. These animals are pretty hardy and hunt and scavenge for all sorts of different animal prey to eat. So there we have it, just a few of the different types of animals you might see in the rock pools around the UK. Do let us know of anything you spot if you go to the beach this summer. <laughs>